Hello, this is me, Seth. Today I'm going to show you a region-based automation in Logic Pro, which is very great to make some very cool stuff. This is a song I did uh, by myself. It's for my new upcoming EP called January EP, and this uh, this one's called Transformer Test. Transformer? Oh, a Transformer Test. I'll try to respell it. Um, I think this is will be renamed. Um, okay, what what do I mean by region-based automation? Well, let's start by hearing what I've done here, just four bars. Yeah. Well, well. Um, what what reason region-based automation means that when we go up here to the menu and say hyperdraw and select volume um, we can draw in some automation points and then we can shift it around and so uh, the cool thing about uh, region based automation is when i'm rep uh, when i'm copying this region all the automation data uh, is ins is written inside the region. So whenever I'm copying the the region, uh, all automation data is copied to the next one. Um, this is why it's called region-based automation. Uh, what most people don't know is that you don't have to use regions where um, notes or any other. Uh, signals are in, you can use an empty region to do the same. Just go to the track menu and select new with with same channel strip or instrument. Uh, this copy, uh, this uh, creates a new track and there you have uh, the same output uh, selected and when I'm making a new region now, go to the menu, select volume it a little bigger. I'm doing the same now. Just a little volume automation here. See the fader here? It's going downwards and upwards. This is very cool. But when you know this, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, what's my favorite thing is uh, just move around here. Uh, where it is? And the song is like uh, this. <laughs> Very crazy. <laughs> um, but when you go, when you have a look right down here, you see this. These small. Uh, regions I've used, I'm zooming in a little. You see, I've created a very small region which is about, uh, oop, let me see, 16th, I suppose, or so, or 32th. Uh, the first part sets the fader uh, up to the upper uh, level and then it goes down to uh, infinity and then back up. This is very important, the last part to go back up uh, because when you loop it, this uh, region here, like this, it has to be has to be made safe that at the last loop the fader will go up so you hear what, what uh, so you hear the sound when it is played. Let me uh, solo it for you. And you can use it. This technique just create a small region for uh, the first part. Sets the volume up, then the second part sets the volume down to make very cool starter effects like this or this. <laughs> See, oh, here. You saw the, the master volume here? Let me see. 
or something like that. Just experiment with it. And we'll have, you will have a lot of fun. So, this was it for now. I hope you liked it. See you again.